Okay, it's late again. I shouldn't be doing this video, but I'm going to. Anyway, we're going to do this set, so this is not going to focus, and now it has. Um, so I thought about getting this set a while back, but I thought it was too expensive, and I thought, um, I thought I, I decided, nah, I was going to go get it, because I got a bit of extra money from the old tax return stuff. And I thought, well, I would go get it. And <laughs> turns out it was it had dropped in price because the shop that does the um, does this little trick where it drops in price uh, automatically decided to do the trick again. And that's the true story. But the important thing is, it's not very elaborate that telling telling of that story. Um, the the really cool thing is. Uh, that wasn't the only thing that had dropped in price, so I ended up buying uh, a couple of other uh, sets which are considerably larger than this one, so that should be some fun to do um, in the future, but they're all kind of in the same theme actually. Well, almost in the same theme. There's, 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 a couple, there's I've, got two, I've got three city ones uh, and a creator one and they're all kind of like well, they're, well, they're mostly they're mostly this kind of stuff. <laughs> so, not sounding very exciting about it. I'm not saying honestly. I can't talk today because uh, this has got a lot of stickers. So we're not going to be putting the stickers on. So it's not going to look anywhere near as exciting. It would be so cool if this had been printed pieces, uh, but it's not. I don't even have to have look here's the sticker sheet. I don't even have the, the box in the way. I'm a bit sick, not too sick. There's two bags, so maybe we should just do. We are gonna do. We are gonna do one bag each because I want to make fast, quicker videos. Uh, and I've only got not let not not the full amount of time on the on the camera because obviously I'm running low on the uh, memory card. So we'll just do this bag real quick. The reason is is that it takes me forever to upload these videos. And Google, which reminds me, sorry, I'm just gonna take a second with my computer to uh, resume uploading. Um, a previous video which is from ages ago because I'm really behind in uploading videos um, yeah the problem is is that the 30 minute ones uh, just they take me too long to upload and you know with everything else going on like watching Netflix and stuff and <laughs> and uh, YouTube like only lets you take two days or so before it decides that it's going to discard all your work that you've been trying to upload uh, in parts so that's rubbish so I'm not entirely sure why I'm even trying to upload this video at the moment because I'm almost at the end of my two days and I haven't uploaded enough what normally happens is that I have a rubbish internet connection and sometimes when it's working I'll get much better upload speeds than other times and right now I'm not getting a very good uploads, upload rate so it's a waste of time but you never know it's worth trying um, so the point is if I just do 15 minute videos then uh, I'll have a much better chance of being more regular with my updating uh, and get, get the backlog at least until I get the backlog out of the way so speaking of backlog <laughs> It's a log, so I can't even remember. I, I definitely haven't got the. There was a, there was a collectible minifigure I think that looked a little bit like this person. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was. Like it feels like there was a costume of a guy in a log or a woman in a log costume. There has two faces, and that face is that's the face we're going to go with the screaming what's happening face, uh, and then they go. So it's kind of like I've got one of those. Um, I had a second chance to get one of those collectible. Um, where's the little leafy thing? Well, that I can't see that piece. Oh, it's, and it's right here. Um, collectible leaf thing. Oh, I don't understand. All right, it goes like. Just, oh, it doesn't matter which way around it goes. It goes there. It goes there. We haven't got time to get it exactly correct. Uh, and then it goes there. So that's quite neat. Uh, log log. <laughs> How does the log song log song go? It's log, it's log, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. It's log, it's log, it's better than bad, it's good. Um, anyway, we're turning the page. They really should have a Ren and they should have a Ren and Simpy Lego set. I would, I would, I would, I would absolutely. I can't imagine that ever happening, but it would be so awesome if they did. It's just too, I think, 
strangely it's become too niche to even know what Ren and Snippy is that Lego would never it's not like Hanna Barbera or something you know like I, I was thinking about getting the Flintstone set because it's, it's it's quite reduced at a local shop um, and it might be quite fun <laughs> it doesn't look like a bad set so I don't know why it hasn't been that popular but it was just like the, the carrot you know it's it's, it feels like the Sims, the the, Flint, the Simpsons, the Flintstones just don't quite have. Like they should have. Like it maybe that that's the thing that they could have for a collectible minifigure series. They could have a Hanna, a Hanna Barbera um, uh, series, but they've already had like Scooby Doo and they've had the Flintstones. Uh, but then they could have the Jetsons um, and more Scooby Doo. And my personal favourite, which of course was Two Stupid Dogs. Uh, which was like, which was like a Ren and Stimpy ripoff, so but slightly more, le or slightly less insane. Uh, so there we go. We've got that done. So we're going along fine. We've got a few minutes left. Uh, we can definitely get this in as a quick-ish video, uh, and f hopefully get it uploaded at some point. Uh, I can honestly cannot think of any other Hanna Barbera cartoons. <laughs> off the top of my head which is embarrassing because I know there's one really important one that I should be able to remember but I but I can't it's just just imagine I just had to think back and imagine all the cartoons where the backgrounds were repeated over and over again as they ran along because I don't think I don't think they did that quite as bad like, I don't think Warner Brothers did it anywhere near as bad as Hanna Barbera uh, is that how, that, that's even how you pronounce the name of the company that made them but Anyway, that's that, that. That's what I just had to say about them. But maybe they could possibly because I'm always thinking about what will be the next collectible minifigure series, even though they haven't actually started selling the Muppets in New Zealand yet, which is disappointing. I don't know why they're so far behind. I guess it's the um, the world situation and global supply chains and that kind of stuff. And what are we doing next? Where's this, where did this piece go? Because I honestly can't see that anywhere. Uh, oh, please don't be disappeared. It has been disappeared. It's right there. It wasn't, I didn't have to put it on anywhere. It was already there. So that's kind of cool. You can actually put a trailer on it. So just have to make up a trailer. Uh, now what are we doing? Uh, we are going. I've built, I decided to put wheels on my ridiculously silly um, um, <sighs> popsicle stick made with a glue gun uh, car, but I don't want these wheels. I'm going to put actual wooden wheels on and make them tomorrow and use an actual wooden axle, but I have to get out my uh, miter box, miter saw, and <laughs> um, drill and not use not used a manicure set which I had which I bought for no reason off the internet because I thought it would be a, a kind of useful Dremel tool uh, it looks like it looks like this thing uh, it's actually got a drill bit on the end of it you can't really put much in there because it's only got one size it only takes one size bit um, and that's that happens to be the size of the drill bit that I used but uh, I thought it would be a good thing, you know, that for like for kids to do basic dremeling with, uh, but it's not really powerful enough. It's pretty good for when it comes to doing nails and things. Not like my nails looking very good today, but uh, it's not very good for drilling holes and things. Or uh, it's, well, it's kind of okay for sanding things down, but I don't think many kids would want to sand down their popsicle sticks. Uh, I shouldn't call them popsicle sticks because maybe that's a culturally specific thing, but ice block sticks, you know what I mean, the sticks things that... But this is an ice cream thing. I glued these together to make a catapult and I haven't got around to finishing it. Uh, so lots lots of strange things are happening around here. So that one goes there, and that one goes there. We've got it, we can finish this, we can finish this. Uh, so of course the obvious, the obvious, the obvious cool thing in this one here is this lion. Though I'm going to be honest, I thought they were a puma. I kept thinking puma, uh, but they're black, aren't they? When when I first saw this thing, uh, don't worry if you're worried that I've only got this one female-ish lion. Uh, well, you're going to be in for a surprise when a future video comes up. Uh, so that's 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 a, that's a good thing as well. Um, 
because it is it is as I was commenting to somebody it is all about collecting um, Lego animals and there I still haven't got a cow or anything I wish I, had, I wish I had a cow and I, I'm, and I and I hear that having a goat is um, is something of merit worthy of merit uh, worthy of note of merit and we've done that we've done that we've done that now what are we doing we're turning it around and we're putting on these things that's it straightforward uh, why are they not on both sides there's definitely enough of them I think all right so that one's that that's that part done and now what are we doing we're putting this thing on there that's nice and you can tell this is a Lego design thing because they, if this was a fake Lego thing, they'd have like they'd have a they'd have a one by two there so that it wasn't really secure and it would pop off, uh, and it would all be horrible. But they're doing it the way that they, they that you should. So I have a feeling that this is going to be a nice a nice little car to hold in the hand. Uh, what's the time? 14 minutes. Okay, good. I think I've been going for just over 10 minutes. Um, but I've misplaced this. So you do get some interesting animals in this one, where you get two. You get this parrot, uh, and I really feel like I should have put all my parrots in separate containers so that I could go through and compare the different kind of parrots that I've got. Like, you can't even see that. Look at that parrot. It's it's those colors. Uh, over the years. Or it could be a lorikeet or a parakeet or something like that. I don't know. There are, there are lorikeets or something in, in Auckland that aren't supposed to be there and they're quite hard to find but somebody released them in the wild in the 90s or something and now there's a small population flying around in parts of Auckland which I always find amusing uh, even though no one wants them there <laughs> but it's like you don't you don't like you don't expect to see brightly colored birds uh, they're like rainbow or something like this uh, in, in New Zealand in general because um, they're all, all our birds are like dull foresty colors like well a lot of them are green but green or brown that kind of thing not rainbows and the imported birds are all like you know sparrows and stuff and so <laughs> they don't seem that way so when you see a, like a, a a brightly colored green and yellow and or red bird flying around uh, it's always kind of weird unless you can I mean I guess there's like there's like there's like kingfishers. They're kind of differently coloured, but they're not. They're not that exciting. I've been seeing quite a few kingfishers recently, and I, that make, that makes me happy because I haven't seen them for a long time. Um, but they're out there and about doing their thing. So, which reminds me, I actually filmed a, filmed a video of a bird which may have been a kingfisher walking away from me because they didn't like being filmed, which I thought was funny. So, but I have just going to upload it, and not to this channel, but to the general channels, but you know how things are. Now, you must know by now how things are. And then this one goes there, and I've got to get this correct, and it goes up. But we've also got to have a thing with a sticker on it, so we have to imagine a sticker, which is just the license plate with the, um, where did the stickers go, to be honest? Uh, here the license plate with the uh, and I was thinking about this with the set number on it like they have MM and then there's another one that has so the letters change at the beginning of the um, license plate um, but uh, what do they actually mean like they must have some sort of meaning so some sets are MM ones and some sets are something else ones maybe maybe they just make the letters up and then that just goes I think on the front like that and okay and now that was that was that was that was bag number that cannot possibly be bag number one we haven't finished doing this <laughs> okay um, and we haven't made the other person either so apparently I've got the pieces to make the other person and she has two faces and this one here she's got like something in her eye uh, I hope I got the right legs on. I'm pretty sure I have the right legs, and she's wearing um, she's wearing a, uh, uh, one of those kind of scarf things, which kind of look like me. I wear these bandanas around my face when I go cycling, uh, and I feel like when I'm when I have it down, it looks a bit like that. And she has the cool hat with her hair, so that's always good to have that for your collection. Uh, and this guy also has spare hair, um, and I think that's it. and one of them has a a an old school 
wacky, wacky, wacky Lego camera. So that goes there. And we have a cup. I'm assuming she has the cup. So that's what we made today. And we have we have some spare pieces. Oh, and there's the binoculars as well. So you get a lot. You get a lot in the set. Uh, and we have, we have the cool lion. We'll open up the lion because she's right here. Right here. Uh, and I, because I think bag number two is a bit longer than this one. So take that one out, or I could be wrong. So that's quite fun, and you can move their legs. <laughs> and then they can be doing like some sort of ballet maneuver. Um, so this is my very first large cat in Lego, I think. I, ha I cannot recall any other large cats. Oh, you can move their head, so um, maybe if I do the, that thing, then they can move their head forward. And then they look like they're walking on their hind legs. No, 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 no. <laughs> do, do, do. Actually, that looks like the logo for something. Probably like the 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 standard sort of um, English, British, United Kingdomish lion doing something or other. Um, I don't know. I cannot. I, I can't actually picture that in my head. If, even if that's a real thing. There we go. But that's pretty cool. That's that's a, that's a worthy addition to the animal collection. Uh, not that the parrot isn't, but the parrot isn't really the main uh, show, <laughs> main show piece today. Thanks for watching. We'll finish this tomorrow. Bye.